Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're gonna try something new. We're on a cruise ship here in the Caribbean. We're on the Celebrity Beyond. We're gonna take you on a tour of this ship here and show you what it's all about, what it has to offer. And so if you choose to vacation on this cruise ship, the Celebrity Beyond, you know where everything is so you can get your vacation started on the right foot. So without further ado, let's check it out. So I am currently on deck 16 and uh, I've seen some other tours that start things off kind of down in the, the lower decks and I thought I'd show you guys what things look like from the top here because this is probably the more exciting piece here. So let's take a look here at the Celebrity Beyond. Here's deck 16. So if you look over here, this is going to be access for the retreat. There's other access points too, which I'll show later on and we'll tour deck 16 and then we'll go into the retreat area to show you that section there. On deck 16, there's some loungers out here. These are gonna be in full sun all day. And then just here below me, you can see a walking track and a running track. And I believe you can, if I find the actual measurements of the track, I'll let you know, but I think you can do like a, a lap around is one kilometer or maybe it was three laps, but we'll take a look. So if you look over this way, I'll give you a sneak peek of uh, deck 14. So this is where all the action happens here. So sometimes there's a, a DJ that will play just up in the corner over here. This is a bar here just below us. You can see lots of um, couches and chairs and loungers scattered throughout the pool deck area. And there's our pool just there on deck 14. There isn't a lot of people in it at the moment, although it does look pretty packed. It will get a lot more busy if we were at a um, if we were on an at sea day, and then we'll take a look at things a bit more closer on deck 15, uh, deck 14 a little later on. So continuing our way down here, this big orange structure is a pretty um, iconic structure here on the ship. It's called the Magic Carpet. I'll see if I can snap a shot of it from down here. Well, I'm only going to be able to see the top of it here. So when we get down to deck 14, I'll show you more of the magic carpet. Because what's cool about this is it can actually raise and lower on the side of the ship. So again, lots more loungers up here. So if things are a little bit busy down below on the pool deck, you can grab a chair up here. This is probably a better spot to come if things are a little bit more busy. One thing I will point out too is um, if you see these little cones here, here, and just over here as well. Those are whirlpool tubs or hot tubs, and they are actually a little hotter than the, um, the main pool there too. Okay, so continuing down this way, you can see these smokestacks here on the ship. They're actually shaped like the X of the Celebrity Cruises uh, logo. And if we continue on down here, right now it is closed, but this will be open typically on an at-sea day. This is Mast Bar. So if you're on deck 16 and you want a drink, you can come here. And then this just continues on down here. Okay, so from Mast Bar, I just want to point out, I walked by this and didn't mention it, but there are pool towels scattered all around the ship decks. So you can just come up and grab as many towels as you want. You know, we've grabbed like one or to kind of lay on and two to dry off with. Um, and then when you're finished with them, you can just toss them down in the um, towel bins below. Okay, so continuing on deck 16 here. I'll give another shot of the pool area here. There's a really cool sculpture here, which is this elephant. And there's a man down there, on um, part of the sculpture just there. He's uh, holding up the elephant. I'll see if I can get a better shot of that a little later on. But, but this just gives you a bit better layout of the uh, pool area here. The bar just over there. And then um, I will point out too, there is a grill station, like a um, kind of a pool deck grill station over there, which will serve hot dogs and hamburgers. So you don't have to go all the way to the buffet if you're uh, hanging out on the pool deck for the day. Here's the uh, whirlpool. And uh, I did feel it earlier on, it definitely is warmer, but you get a really good view too of the uh, ocean. All right, so continuing on, we're gonna head down from deck 16. Oh, actually what I wanted to do, I'm gonna head back to the retreat area before we go any further. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the retreat area, and then I'll meet you right back here for uh, deck 16 down into deck 15. So this is what it looks like here inside the retreat. So this is the lower sun deck here, and I believe it connects back into the main area on deck 16. Well, I'll come up here, back to deck 17. This will be the highest spot on the ship you can get to. So definitely much more private, luxurious, and the loungers are actually a lot nicer here too. We've got lots of pillows. Here's a private whirlpool too, for the retreat guests. And if you step up here, I'll just try to get a view. 
this is going to be one of the nicest views on the ship here because you're so high up. So if we work our way back down from that whirlpool and head towards the back, this will be where the retreat pool is and the private bar here. And this is the private pool here at the retreat. And then coming over this way, this will be the bar area and the lounge. And then it connects into the main area just over here. And then the other whirlpool just over here. And then this big dome structure here is the solarium, which we'll check out in uh, just a few minutes here on our tour. And then these doors here will lead us back to the elevator where we can access the other decks on the ship. So from that solarium dome here and all these uh, loungers out on the deck here, if we turn over this way, these are um, balconies for the edge villas. So I'm not going to go down here, but I'll point out that this is what a in, the inside balcony would look like. And then of course it's got the, the other side of the villa where you'd uh, look out onto the water too. All right, now we're back uh, heading down the running track. So the whirlpool's behind us. We're heading from deck 16 down to deck 15. There's a lot more loungers just here. And this is going to be where a few more things are offered here, especially the um, garden area here. So this area here is called the Rooftop Gardens. It's a really awesome place to hang out, well, even, even during the day, but especially in the evening too, as it's all lit up really nicely. So as you can see, they have these little, um, almost like little booths here, where you can come up and lounge out on these uh, couches here. Some of them have umbrellas, which will be a bit better off if it's a sunny, hot day. But the gardens up here are really cool, and these uh, like lamp posts light up really, really cool at nighttime too. There's um, currently an open pickleball um, session happening right now. So if you're into pickleball, you can come grab a paddle and play some pickleball on board. And then behind that, there's a screen up here and they play, um, right now it's just playing like a cool like 3D graphic, but they'll play different movies throughout the week. So um, I've seen on the screen, we didn't actually sit and watch, but I saw uh, Aquaman, uh, the Barbie movie, and uh, things like that. So they are pretty like um, up-to-date movies as well. So over here, this is the rooftop grill. Right now it's currently not open. Um, I believe this is an additional charge too if you'd like to come and eat at the garden grill here. But you have some really, really awesome views of the sea here. This will probably be one of the nicer places you can come eat if you want like an outdoor eating area. So coming down this way, this is going to be the, um, the back of the ship or the uh, aft of the ship. And this is going to be Sunset Grill here. So we've got a really cool bar here decorated really nicely. Lots of places to sit out and grab a drink in the evening or here during the day. So one more shot of Sunset Bar. And then all along here, I like these um, little couches here, decorated really, really nicely. And there's the, uh, the logo for Sunset Bar. So from Sunset Bar, there's uh, washrooms right here. And then I will point out, just from a distance here, because I don't want to get too close to people enjoying the, the day, there are um, infinity pools just here that look out over the ocean, which is kind of a cool spot to, uh, to hang out. But they get definitely very busy during the day. So if we come around the back side of Sunset Bar, we're uh, coming to the other side of the rooftop garden grill. So we walked around the other side there. So again, there's a, a second infinity pool just over here as well, as I'm pointing in the center of the screen here. So coming down this way, up this way is where the track continues. So we walked just past here uh, to go to Sunset Bar, but um, now we'll come this way and turn around and head this way into the ship. So heading this way along the track, there's lots more loungers left and right, lots and lots of space. However, I will point out that during an at-sea day, when everybody's on board, um, it's pretty difficult to find loungers, so you do have to get out pretty early to find a lounger. Okay, so again, the rooftop track continues, excuse me, the rooftop track continues along this way here, and then goes just up this way here, hangs a right, and then if you can see that little walkway just over here, it continues all the way back up behind that colorful uh, sign there and uh, back to where we, we started, where the retreat section was, where we checked out earlier. So again, this is uh, the pool area down here. I told you I'd get, get you guys a better look at the uh, sculpture right here. So there's the man holding up the giant elephant on his back. <laughs> yeah, so then I'll just basically give you another shot of the pool area here from a bit lower down. And then there's these really cool, like, kind of circular lounger areas here too. 
And I will also point out too that they do have like an accessible seat to get in for accessibility needs. So I'm gonna head inside here just to head to an elevator. Hello. And I'll show you something that you can keep in mind. Oh, one thing I didn't know is here. There's some ping pong tables here. So here's a door that's gonna lead inside. Nice thing about these doors is that you don't have to like grab them to open them. They're all automated, which is great for touch points to limit people touching things and spreading germs. So right now you'll see that all I have to do is come up, wave my hand and it'll open. And this is a good time for me to point out the different um, indications to show different decks and things and where they are on the ship. So each elevator you see um, on the ship will have lots of indications showing where you are. So 15 aft, meaning the back of the ship. And it will show you what is at the aft of the ship. So we toured the rooftop garden grill, the rooftop garden, sunset bar, the jogging track, and it gives you a uh, spatial location of where everything is located on that deck. So one thing we still have to check out is a fitness center, so we'll head there in just a second. And then lastly, they'll show you on every deck and every elevator, they'll show the aft and the forward, and they'll show what is um, available on each deck as well. So I'll give you a shot of that slowly, and you can pause the screen. And of course the app does a really good job, the Celebrity Cruises app does a good job of showing all the deck plans as well and you can access that before you go on your trip to kind of localize yourself on the ship too. But that's why you watch these videos, so you can take a look at where everything is located before you head to the uh, cruise port and board the ship. Okay, so I'm going to head to the fitness center, but I can't get there by walking um, straight across. I'll have to go up to a different deck in particular. So I'm going to head down an elevator and then I'll walk across and then I'll head back up an elevator to get to deck 16, uh, sorry, deck 15 to get to the fitness center. So that's the only um, uh, limitation with being on deck 15 and 16 is that there's no um, air conditioned walkways to get from this side, the aft of the ship to the forward. You have to walk outside. Okay, but um, most of the other parts of the ship have connecting pieces indoors to get to the aft in the front or the aft in the forward. So I'll hit the down button, so it's indicated by red. So all I have to do is wait for my elevator now. You can see the lights around the elevators. We'll indicate which elevator is mine. So it's lit up red down there, and that's gonna be my elevator. And if it was going up, it would be green. Okay, so I'm back to deck 14. So I'll give you a sneak peek of what's on deck 14 here before we go check out the fitness center. So we've got the uh, Ocean View Cafe, which is the main buffet. The pool area, which we've had a good close look at. We haven't seen the solarium yet, so we'll see that in just a minute. And we'll look at the spa, and then one level above, deck 15, is where you find the fitness center. So if we head out the doors here onto the pool deck, so just to localize, this is where the elephant and the man sculpture are. If we take a left, this is gonna be pointing towards the aft of the ship. So this is where the ocean view cafe is located and then just over here is the hand washing station there's lots of spaces to wash your hands and it's definitely required to do so before you head into the buffet area so i'll just point out that the entrance is here and then scoops the ice cream shop is here as well which you can get some ice cream at but i'm going to come around this way because it tends to get pretty busy as you walk in that direction and if you come over here here's my cruise tip for you of the week may have been a bit loud but if you come over here there's another hand washing station here and an entry into the buffet just right here and this is a lot less busy coming in this direction if you want a little bit less congestion and it leads into the same dining room okay so from the elevators which are here and to the right if you turn this way this is the second entrance the cruise tip of the week entrance so if we back up this way and head out these doors right here this is going to lead us into the pool deck area. I'll also point out too that there are life jackets for uh, your children if they may need those. Uh, some more pool towels here to grab. And then if we continue on down this way, the pool deck is here to our left. But I will point out this really cool area here. So this is the magic carpet. Oh, it's quite windy here, so hopefully you can still hear me. So this is it, the magic carpet. So there's a bar here as well. It uh, doesn't look like there's someone tending to it at the moment, but usually this is uh, there's a bartender here that can serve you some drinks. 
And then, like I said, this magic carpet will actually move independent of the side of the ship and go down levels all the way to the bottom. And then coming over this way, the magic carpet continues on. And then the access or the exit or the entrance, depending on which way you're coming, is here, back to the rest of the ship in deck 14. So this is gonna lead us to um, Mast Grill. And this is where you can get some uh, hot dogs and hamburgers. Okay, so I just gone up the stairs here from Mast Grill here. So that doesn't really count as going up to a deck level, that's just a couple of stairs. And this is the uh, bar here at the uh, pool deck area. So this one is tended right now because it's the pool deck and it's always busy. Actually, right now it's not very busy, but um, that's simply, like I said before, because we're at a port day. I will point out too, you could rent some cabanas as well, which are just behind me here. So there's different booths here. So this is number eight, for example. So you could go to uh, guest relations and book one of these for your family. Okay, so before we uh, go off, off to the left here, I'm just gonna point out that if you go through these doors right here, that's gonna lead into the solarium. So that's one entrance, but I'm gonna take the entrance on the um, uh, starboard side of the ship or the right side of the ship. But I will point out just to the right and left of the uh, bar here on the pool deck, there's a little staircase that leads up to a really nicely shaded couch area. But there's some chairs, some couches um, on a very, very busy at sea day. Mona and I found this was actually empty. So we came up here and just got some shade, got out of the heat a little bit and um, very relaxing, nice and quiet. So just wanted to point that out. There's this one and another one to the left side of the bar as well. So don't miss this if you're looking for a little bit of quiet and some shade. Okay, so here's the pool bar here. I really like this like decor here on top. It's like multi-changing lights up here. Really cool at nighttime too. And then just to the left of the pool bar, there's another staircase that leads up to another very, very quiet kind of couch area in the shade up here too. So down the steps and to the right is gonna be the doors into the solarium, and that's where we're gonna head next. All right, so just before the door to the solarium, we've got some fresh towels. So this definitely feels a little cooler today in the solarium, but generally what we notice is it's that much cooler than the uh, outdoors. Even though it is enclosed, you get a lot of sun in here. So it's still quite stuffy and there's not really much of a breeze. So, so there's the pool there, as you can see. I don't wanna point it out um, too closely because there's some people in swimming. And then there's some uh, whirlpools just uh, right and left flanking the pool. So lots of loungers scattered around the pool. Again, these go up, can go pretty quickly on a not sea day. There are loungers over to the left and right of the pool too, have, which have great views overlooking the sea, as you can see here. And what we noticed was the, the chairs inside the solarium actually have like really nice cushioning on them compared to the ones on the pool deck with these like little pillows here too. So very, very comfy. But I will warn you, if you're hanging out in the solarium, the spa-like music and that air that feels like blankets will put you right to sleep as it did us a couple days in a row already. So moving on from, or moving into the back side of the solarium, I'll point out the spa, cafe, and juice bar. So this is the spa, cafe, and juice bar where you can get some smoothies made. There's some tea and coffee, some juices, some ice water. So one thing I'll point out is that the stuff over here at the bar there, the cold salads and little sandwiches are free. But if you did want a smoothie from the station here, they are an additional cost. Okay, so there's another shot of the solarium pool, which is a nice place to hang out. So that's enough of the solarium here. We're gonna head this way and the elevators here. And these are the elevators for deck 14 at the forward station or the forward part of the ship. And this is where the spa and the fitness center are gonna be located. So we toured Ocean View Cafe, or showed you where it was. We checked out the pool section, we checked out the solarium, spa, cafe, and juice bar. The spa is located on this um, level as well, and then right above it on deck 15 is the fitness center. So let's go check out uh, those two things here. Okay, so the spa is located right here. I don't know if I can really go in there and uh, show too much because there's obviously the treatment, room, treatment rooms and things. But I will point out that if you come on the um, um, your day one, they will have an open house and you can take a look at all the treatment rooms and get packages and things like that. So what we'll do, we'll head up the stairs here and this staircase goes basically up and down through the entire ship all the way from uh, deck 16 or 17 I believe 
all the way through to the bottom of the ship. So if you like stairs and you want to get um, a little bit of a workout, you can forego the elevators and use stairs. So coming up the stairs on deck 15 in the forward section, turning to the right here, you'll find the fitness center. And again, the staircase here just leads down into the spa section, which I was showing just a second ago. I'll see if I can get a good shot of the fitness center. I just don't want to bother anybody on their workout, but it doesn't look too busy here actually right now. So I'll point out some cardio equipment, some treadmills off to the left with great views of the sea here while you're working out. We've got some uh, towels here that you can use for your workout. There's some cold towels you can get just to refresh during or after your workout. And then we've got some infused water here, cucumber, orange and lemon and then they've got some sign-up sheets for the different classes that might be offered and different workshops that are offered throughout the, uh, the cruise. So there's a range of um, machines you can use too uh, for all the different uh, muscle groups. Lots of machines so you can do a full body workout just with, machi with machines. There's a uh, squat rack over here. There's a whole suite of dumbbells just off to the right over there. We've got some ellipticals, we've got some step climbers, some uh, recumbent bikes, some stationary bikes, and then even got a couple pelotons here too. So what I, what I read was with the pelotons, if you head down to the spa, they can set you up on the pelotons. we got two more pelotons over here. We've got some rowers, some more treadmills, and then lots of open space here just to kind of do some stretches and things like that. So down the hall here is where you'll find the um, kind of group fitness studio classes. Um, we have one thing that's really cool on this ship is they actually have an agreement with F45 and they have a whole branded F45 studio here too. So you can do F45 training. It is an additional cost, but they've got all kinds of equipment that you'd expect to find at an F45 studio. All right, so coming out of the fitness center here, I'm gonna head back to the elevators. And that does it for the upper decks of the uh, ship here. So we're gonna head down to the lower decks and check out some of the offerings down there, the uh, food offerings, the entertainment offerings. So I'll take a look here to see what we're in store for. So we just finished up with 14, 15, 16, 17. Now we're gonna head down to number five. We'll check out the theater, all the different restaurants, and all the different offerings that you can find down on the lower decks. And then check out this high tech elevator here too. So I'm gonna to head down to deck five, hit the touch screen. Oh, is it gonna work? There we go. You've got all the different things on the um, upper part of the elevator too, just to remind yourself where you need to go and if you're going to the right place. So this is where we're heading right now. Deck five. Oh. So this is where we are right now, this little dot. And um, this is gonna be the things we're gonna check out here on deck five. We're gonna see the theater. There's an art gallery the Captain's Club and Concierge. I'll show you the club, which is actually just beside me here. We'll see the World Class Bar. There's a Steakhouse, the Raw and Five, and then some shops. And then Eden and uh, some more shops and Blue, the restaurant. All right, so turning this way, heading towards the forward of the ship. So it's always indicated there. So if you ever get confused, you can always take a look at the elevators here where you are. So over here is the Captain's Club and the Concierge. So I'll just get you a sneak peek in here. So pretty cozy, quite nice. So next thing I want to show you guys here is the theater, which I don't know is actually open right now. But I'm going to take a look over on this side. So there's a second entrance to the theater here. They're always going to show you what um, event is happening at the theater. So tonight is Charity Lockhart, who's a singer. Yeah, so I just checked. Unfortunately, the theater is closed at the moment, but we will put a couple shots in if we saw any sh of the shows that we saw and just some pans of the theater itself because it's like a really amazing high-tech theater with a giant screen. I think she said, the um, uh, director of entertainment said that there's 17 million pixels in the screen, which is absolutely massive. It surrounds the whole theater too and totally immerses you in the show but definitely don't miss out on the performances here on the, on the ship while you're, while you're on board. Okay, so turning around this way, we're gonna head into the art gallery. So there's some different sculptures and things that I believe you can actually buy these, but if you head down this way, this is where most of the paintings and things are uh, and sculptures down 
Park West Museum. But before we head down there, I just want to make sure we don't miss out on the club, which is over here. So right now we have, um, there's a couple different activities happening at the club tonight. There's something called Buddy System. I'm not sure, oh, it says it's a game show. And then later today is um, Pub Quiz. And then obviously in the evenings it opens up as like a dance club as well. I'll head inside the club just to show you. It's kind of lit up right now because it's daytime, but you can imagine what this might look like in the evening time all lit up. So there's really nice sofas and things you can chill out at. And they do have a full service bar in here as well. So actually I'm gonna head down here. So here's the dance floor in front of me. They got a big screen on the wall there. To probably put on some nice music videos while you're hanging out at the club. And then over this way, is where you'll, where you'll see the full service bar here too. Okay, so from the club we'll head to the aft of the ship or the back of the ship. And again, this is gonna take us through the uh, Westward Park Art Gallery. So you can check out some of the art as we head by. Oh yeah, so you can definitely buy these. This one says it's sold here. Oh yeah, there's lots of them that are sold. Pretty neat. Oh wow, yeah. I would say most of them are sold. Okay, so coming through the art gallery here we're gonna head into the Grand Plaza I also want to point out this is the entrance way that we boarded the ship from when we started our cruise in Fort Lauderdale we entered these doors and then we headed down this way to our muster station which was just by the theater there it was a super easy check-in process uh, we did some of the check-in videos before we arrived at the ship we went to our muster station at the theater um, they scanned our app they just really quickly reviewed it with us in like 30 seconds and then we were done we're off to explore our ship and what i really like about celebrity as well is uh, they let us actually go to our room even though it wasn't ready drop off our carry-ons in our backpacks and then we got to explore the ship and uh go check everything out okay as i was talking about that we were passing by the world-class bar so i believe we haven't really hung out here too much but this is where you can get some really cool drinks if you're looking at looking for some of the menus for the bars and the restaurants you can find them all on the app okay so coming into this area this is kind of the main hub of the cruise ship here too so this is going to be the grand plaza area so i'll get you a nice little aerial shot of it right now this is the nice martini bar down here um, i 100 recommend martinis there um, mona and i typically don't drink but we had a couple of martinis here on, on board and the espresso martini and the passion fruit martini were two of our favorites. So coming over here, we've got Raw on Five. So this is a, uh, a restaurant that you'd have to reserve and there's an additional cost to this as well. But you can see obviously some of the things that are offered here, like oysters, lobster tails, uh, crab legs and things like that. Okay, so across the way here, I'll just go across this small little bridge here connecting the two sides of the ship walking over the martini bar here before we go over there check out this really cool lighting feature here totally like brightens up the area and gives it really cool vibes so this is fine cut steakhouse again an additional charge for this restaurant so carrying on down here this is going to lead us past a few shops so we've got some luxury shops here we've got bulgari and then we have Cartier over here. One thing I forgot to point out too is there's some elevators here. This is the aft elevators on deck five. And just to give you a reminder of where we are here, we checked out the theater, Captain's Club and Art Gallery, uh, went past World Class Bar and the restaurants and the shops. And now here we are at the uh, aft of the ship by the elevators. So we're gonna head down through um, a really cool section here. I'm gonna show you this. You're really gonna enjoy that and then uh, check out the restaurants and then eat in at the end of the uh, ship. Okay, so from the shops here, we've got another little lounge area here. So this isn't really connected to anything. It's just a, a separate lounge area to hang out at. We've got a really cool sculpture here. And that's what I like about this ship is there's all these really cool things to look at. All right, so this room's gonna be basically like a whole mirror room with lights and sound. So I'm just gonna head in and let you enjoy it. I 
really don't know how to describe this room. Hello. <laughs> it's just so like ethereal. There's like lighting, there's some sound, there's mirrors. A really cool display of art. <laughs> and it just connects us into the back of the uh, ship here. So as we head towards the aft, we've got some really nice sculptures here. So coming into this part of the ship, we've got lots of different art pieces and it's starting to get into more like earthy uh, vibes with lots of plants and decor. This is uh, Maison de Chocolat where they'll have different chocolates you can buy. So yeah, as you notice like the plants and the different um, earthy vibes to this, this is because we're heading into the more Eden area of the ship. But just across from that is Blue and Blue is a uh, special restaurant that's for aqua class guests. I don't think it's open right now. And unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to dine here because we're not considered aqua class guests, but I'll give you a, a little shot of what it looks like inside here. Okay, so continuing on here, we've got the uh, shop Mankind, and they've got some Mont Blanc, um, different things you can buy here. And we're starting to head into the Eden section now of the ship. This is the uh, aft of the ship. I believe we're on deck five, but there's definitely a really cool like chill area to uh, hang out. So there's these little swings here. And they've got speakers above them too that are like um, bringing in the sounds of like a waterfall and birds and little insects and things like that. So really cool like chill area to hang out. So you'll definitely notice a lot of the like plants and like an earthy kind of decor here in Eden. So it's basically trying to like simulate like a garden of Eden. So they have a restaurant here as well. Um, it's an additional charge to uh, dine at the restaurant here in Eden. So one thing I'll also point out too, this little area here, um, usually in the evening they have like some performances here on this little uh, floor which they kind of use as a stage. They've got all kinds of like lighting and rigging work in the ceiling here because they do some like aerials and things like that. So uh, don't forget to check out some of the stuff here at the Eden uh, bar. So coming over this way, this is where the check-in desk for the Eden restaurant is, just there. Last look at Eden here, well from this viewpoint. We're going to turn around and just head up this little ramp here. I think this takes us up to deck six, which is uh, basically staterooms, but I wanted to point out all the different loungers and chairs over here, which gives you a really good view. And as you're heading up here, there are some people around the corner here, so I don't want to film them, so I'm just going to skip by them in a second here. But like I said, there's a beautiful view you get here. So lots more seating along here. And they've got one of the automatic window washers going right now to keep all the windows clean. And then some additional seating here at Eden. So if there was a show here, if you come up this uh, rampway that I showed you there, you can get some really good views of, uh, of a show here that happens. So yeah, this definitely works as um, overflow or additional seating for Eden here. Okay, so we're gonna head back to um, the elevators on deck four now. And then I'm gonna continue the tour of deck four, heading back towards the front of the ship. All right, so we're on deck four now at the aft of the ship. So this is where we are here. I think of the aft of the ship as basically being where your restaurants are. So these are our specialty dining restaurants that need reservations. And um, they are free of charge, so you can just have to book them. And then you can have um, like a sort of a full service dinner without you know, having to go to the buffet. So if we continue along, we'll check out the casino, some shops. There's different restaurants and um, cafes and things as we move along all the way to the front of the ship where the theater was. All right, so let's head towards the aft. So over this way is the casino. So I don't think I can go in here and film just because it's an actual casino. Um, but I will just get a couple like little shots so you can see. There's different slot games and things and they have all kinds of different card games too, like blackjack and poker. And they do have poker tournaments too if you wanna enter into one of those um, to, try to try to win some money on your, on your trip. Turning away from the elevators here, there's another entrance in the casino just over there too. So it basically takes up the whole left side of the ship on deck four at the back side of the ship. But if we turn to the right side of the ship, head towards the back, we'll pass by some shops. So there's a cool shop here called Sense of Self. There's like handbags and dresses and things like that. If we continue along here, 
This will lead us to Cypress Restaurant, which I really like this art piece here. And then across from Cypress, over here is Cosmopolitan. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can just tuck in here and get a little bit of a shot of Cosmopolitan just to show you the decor. So it's a really, really beautiful dining room. Definitely uniquely decorated too. Okay, and then from Cosmopolitan, across the hall is its sister restaurant, the Cypress. There's a little staircase here that takes you to the other two uh, main dining room restaurants. And their names are Tuscan and Normandy. All right, so this is Normandy here. And here's its uniquely decorated restaurant. So again, more of a French vibe here at this restaurant, serving French-inspired culinary delights. <laughs> yeah, definitely recommend. The buffet is very good. Definitely very, very good flavors and things and variety. But do check out some of the uh, specialty dinings. It's all four different inspired restaurants um, and they have very, very good dishes as well. Okay, so I'm just heading back up the stairs here. So that was on deck three. Tuscan is here. Normandy is here. And then coming up the staircase here, back to deck four, which is where we're gonna tour. Cosmopolitan is here. And then Cyprus is right here. It's a very conveniently located. So I'm from Cosmopolitan up the left side of the ship is the casino. So I'll just only point out that it's there, not tour through it. We'll go up the right side of the ship and head towards the um, Grand Plaza and Martini Bar area again. All right, so coming up the hallway here, this was the elevator that we got off on deck four. The casino is just straight ahead. So we came, out, we came out the elevator and went left to go to the restaurants down this hallway. But now we're gonna turn right and head back towards the front of the ship. So we pass by some more shops here. And of course over here, lots of display cases with all kinds of different jewelries here. So we've got another shop here called Time Is Now. And that's another jewelry shop. And that brings us into the Grand Plaza area. So to point a couple things out on this deck here, we'll start over here on the left. This is the sports bar. We have Le Grand Bistro just over here, straight ahead. And then we have, um, oh, I'm gonna point that out in just a second when I get over there, but I'll show you that. And then we have Cafe Albaccio just over here, which is like sort of a uh, pastry and coffee shop. Okay, so this is Craft Social Bar. This is basically like the sports bar here on the ship. So just over here, there's a even bigger TV and some seating areas over here. Coming over this way, we've got La Grand Bistro. And I believe this is where they also do the, um, the uh, dining experience, Le Petit Chef. What Le Petit Chef is, is I um, don't know if you can see, but if you see these little uh, projection, little um, lights right there, they'll actually project down onto the table and uh, they'll light up your table with like some cool animations and stuff. So it's very interactive. Otherwise, Le Grand Bistro has a selection of coffees and pastries just over there. Okay, so just down from the um, pastry shop there, Le Grand Bistro is Le Voyage by Chef Daniel Boulard. And this is a really unique dining experience. So um, again, reservations are quite limited for this. So if you're looking for a very upscale dining experience, this is probably one of the best ones on ship here. So, so turning around here, I'll get you another shot of the martini bar here, just from another angle here. And that's gonna bring us up to Cafe Albaccio. Oh, one thing I did wanna point out too, is um, if you did want to go to the uh, restaurants on the lower level, I think that was uh, Normandy and Tuscan. Uh, if you walk through the martini bar area here down this hallway at the bottom level, that'll take you back to the uh, restaurants down there. So this is Cafe Albaccio here. Very popular around the uh, afternoon time for an afternoon pick-me-up. They can make specialty coffees and they have all kinds of pastries. So the pastries are included, but the specialty coffees are an additional charge. And then lots of seating here to enjoy your pastry or coffee. This is the photo gallery where you can pick up all kinds of uh, tech options here. So I think they even sell like laptops and iPads and things. Wow. And then the other thing too is if you had any photography done while you were on, on the ship, there's some photographers that will go around. You can uh, view your photos here at these laptops here. So just down from the uh, photo gallery area, 
We have the uh, shore excursions desk and the concierge. So if you needed any assistance with booking any uh, shore excursions, this would be the place to come. There's a uh, studio here if you want some fine art photography done, and this will be a more of a professional setting inside here. And then just across from that, we have future cruise vacations. This is where you'd come to speak with a representative if you wanted to book a future cruise, obviously by the name, um, before you get off the ship. And I think the benefit of that is um, if you book a cruise while you're on your cruise, you can save a lot of money and get a lot of uh, perks for your next cruise. Across from that, we have the uh, celebrity collection, the gift shop here. And then across from the shop, we've got the uh, lower level of the club. So there's another entrance here. We've already checked that out, so we won't go in again. And then we've got some elevators here on the uh, fourth level forward part of the ship. And then from the elevators, I'll also point out too that there's an ATM here that dispenses US dollars. And then this part of the gift shop here is actually where you'll find the um, resort wear, so that's like all the celebrity cruise branded stuff. I think the thing I showed you before was more like the traditional souvenir shop and uh, colognes and things like that. And then to the left of that there is a uh, liquor shop and cigar and cigarette shop you could pick up things. And then here is the theater. So this is the lower level of the theater. Okay so deck four, we're at the forward part of the ship. So elevators are to the left of me here. And then over here to the, um, this will be on the left side of the ship on deck four in the front. This is the meeting place. So if you um, wanted to kind of schedule a meeting with your group or create a group and create a meeting, this would be the place to do it. I think it's, um, what's really unique about this is that what I read was that you can kind of create different meetings and invite, like this will be this board here, you can come check it out anytime. You can create meetings and then people can see it and kind of join in. So if you're looking to kind of build a bit of a community, you can schedule something and people can come check it out and hang out with you here in the meeting place. Okay, so we've checked out a lot of stuff here on decks four and five. There's only a couple more things to check out here on deck three. Um, basically what it was, I'm gonna show you the board over here. So at deck three, we checked out the Grand Plaza already. So we'd just be kind of on the level of the actual martini bar. Um, I'll show you guest relations in the Celebrity Eye Lounge, and we've already checked out Tuscan and Normandy. And lastly, all we have left to check out is the uh, destination gateway, and is basically the exit to the ship if you're at port. Okay, so we're here on deck three. This is the um, camp at sea. So I think this is like the uh, children's club. I'll just point out that it's here, but I'm not going to go in and film the children here who are here, obviously. but. So I'm pretty sure if you can come down here and register your child and it's like a little uh, daycare service too. I'm sure there's an additional charge to this as well. Okay, so um, one thing I'll mention too is you probably noticed I skipped decks basically 12 through till 6. And that's because they all basically look like this. So this is the hallways for the state rooms. So we did a room tour of our room, which was a veranda. Make sure you check out that stateroom tour as well on our YouTube channel so you can take a look to see what the rooms look like here. We were pretty impressed with the rooms, so I just wanted to make sure you guys had a chance to take a look at those staterooms. Okay, so this is the martini bar. So we've checked out martini bar from a couple of different levels up here. So we're gonna turn to the left here. And this is the guest relations area just here. And then also they have a little mini library over here, which is cool. So you can come check out a book, make sure you return it before you leave. And there's little laptops here that you could use your Wi-Fi package on here. All right, so this is deck two on the midship. I'll point out the basement here. So the basement is the teens prison, I mean the teens club. Somebody else made that joke and I thought I'd take it. But um, there's some cool things to do for teens in there. I'll just point it out and not go in. And then, Moving along this way, this is Destination Gateway. This is where you'll get on and off the ship. It's actually extremely busy right now because um, 3.30 is the time where you're supposed to get on the ship and it's about uh, three o'clock now. All right, I couldn't think of a better place to do our outro than Eden, my favorite spot on the ship. So final thoughts. Celebrity Cruises does an amazing job. So there's so many things to check out. It's you're immersed in kind of whatever vibe that you're in that they're going for. They do a really good job with that. I will mention, I believe that Celebrity Cruises is definitely for people who are looking to relax. So if you're a super adventurous person, 
For example, if you're looking to do like a water slide or play some mini golf or like a laser tag or something like that, um, there's not too many options just besides kind of what you've seen on the ship so far compared to other ships. But if you're looking for a uh, like a super relaxing, like a luxurious feel cruise, I would definitely recommend the Celebrity Beyond. It's so, so amazing in that regard. So yeah, with that, we'll end the tour here. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the Celebrity Beyond and our first, and hopefully of many, different cruises and cruise ships that we'll be touring on our channel here. If you like taking a look at these cruise ships on our channel, make sure you let us know in the comments that you want to see different cruise ships and which ones maybe, and we can try to tour those. But with that, hope you enjoyed our tour, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.